What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV. Coming to you from downtown Vancouver, British Columbia. We've got the Fairmont waterfront, which is a hotel right here. We're actually going to do a walking tour. It is 7.30 p.m. in June. I'm just going to show you around this area here. Pan Pacific Hotel. What a nice hotel, huh? Right on Victoria Harbor. Lunch with a view. So we're actually going to head towards Gastown now. For those of you who are watching this walking tour, that's where we're going next. We will be approaching that area shortly, but this is the waterfront. They've got industrial and commercial areas around here. Well, let's keep cruising. from the port they have the waterfront station for those of you who wanted to catch the metro that can actually take you all the way to the airport like I said we are going to do a full travel guide here in Vancouver I've been here this is now my second time So, if you want a full scope, I will try to link to that video below. But we'll pick up when we get closer towards Seymour. Alright. So, here we are. This is Water Street. Cruise down here a little bit. And then we'll eventually head over towards Yale Town. That's where we'll kind of conclude this tour. Hastings is actually where the steam clock is located. guys are enjoying this tour so far hit the like button help support this channel so we can keep making more tours it is around let's see seven almost 8 15 actually two more days until the summer solstice it's a bit brisk. It's about 62 degrees. Uh, here's the steam tower, actually. That's funny. They must have a couple of them. Where people like to go to get their picture taken. I think it actually goes off. I should wait around and see if we can get it to go off, but I think it's every hour on the hour or something like that. All right, headed back out now. I'm going to pick up 
as we get closer to more action. So I don't want to make you guys watch everything that is on this walk. All right, we are passing Abbott and Water Street. And what we're gonna do is now take a right and go south on Carroll Street, which is coming up. There'll be some restaurants on there. And then after that, we will be in Yale Town. But for the most part, what you've seen here is Gastown. They got that clock. Many restaurants, actually. There's the old spaghetti factory. And of course, many people live right in downtown. So it makes it a livable city. One of the most livable cities around. Everything is right here. So we're gonna head right up there. Cool. There's the old train there. Last time I was here in 2018, Some businesses have gone under. Some of the city has changed. All right, we're on Corral Street. And this will basically take us towards Yale Town. Smith's, the Blarney Stone. Smith's of Gastown. I guess we're still in Gastown here. All right, we're on Cordova. I did hear French or uh, English Bay was nice. Hastings. Oh, you know what? I might not be able to film through here. It's a little bit of a tough area. Tougher side of town. Uh, sorry guys, I didn't film too much through there. I'm sure you guys were hoping that I would give you some of the action. But... We're coming to Chinatown. I just wasn't sure if what people would think if I was walking through there this camera out. Because I don't know what they were doing. What kind of activities, if you know what I'm saying. Because I definitely saw some weird looking stuff. Like pipes. Okay. We are on Abbott Street in Kiefer. Let's keep this, uh, Walking to or going. Well, I'm going to stop here and eat Uncle Faith's pizza. See all their pies. And this is me. Let's do this. Okay. The guy at the pizza parlor told me to go this way. There's the International Village. He said to go up those stairs to get to Yale Town. So you can 
Tennessee International Village here. I think they said tonight it's going to get dark around like 9. I know in Alaska, they get the midnight sun. I wasn't sure if we were high enough to get like a 10 o'clock sun, sunset. But it's going to be 9, around 9.05 or so. Go up these stairs here. I got a station, stadium, and Chinatown. That's the station you would arrive at. I guess I could take the train, but mm, rather not. Let's see. Oh, more stairs. All right. The 80 Street and Dunsmere. Actually over here, next road over from Citadel Parade is the stadium. It's where the Canucks play hockey. I think they're called the Vancouver Canucks. Could be wrong. All right, that's right where the stadium is. You can almost see it. Okay, so here we are on Robson and B80. You can see the Vancouver Whitecaps FC. I think this is where they did the Olympics. I think this was part of the Olympics Village. Vancouver Whitecaps FC. I think that's Canadian football, maybe? It's actually a waterfront over here. We're just now entering into Yale Town. Oh man, the stadium lights turn colors. That's cool. Last time I was in Vancouver, I did not actually come to Yale Town. So this is actually my first time in Yale Town, I believe. Nice area for sure. A lot more uh, ritzy, I would say. All right. What do we got here? I think we have a casino. Oh, that's not a casino. That's JW Marriott. Man, that pizza was good. I'll tell you what. I'm really happy about that pizza. Well, they do have a casino up there. On the top of the JW. Or not on the top, but... See if you can kind of see in there. See those slot machines. I don't know. Is casino gaming legal here, maybe? Because I've seen a few casinos.
casino. I'm staying at a Marriott, but it's not JW. It is the other one. from high gas prices that's why I'm running or well walking look at the seagull saving money with gas so I'm taking the uh, boots shoes False Creek. Oh, what do they got? Crazy dog. Wild dog. It's a dog park. <laughs> That's funny. I love pit bulls there. The happiest dogs. Or bull terrier. I like this little guy. Good life for dogs out here, in Vancouver. Man, look at all these beautiful condos, though. Everywhere. If you guys are enjoying this tour, please hit the like and subscribe if you're enjoying it. Don't forget to watch the full Vancouver travel guide that I'm going to do. Okay, so from the waterfront here at Cooper's Park, let's go up here. I see some lights. It's a pizzeria again. What a gorgeous city, huh? It just keeps getting better with time. And the people who designed it really did a great job of forward thinking with how to do it. Like they put a walking lane and a bike lane and they're both very wide. I imagine when they built it, there wasn't as many people. But because they were forward thinking, it's great. Place to get some breakfast. Is that called bed and breakfast? The wine bar? That's called the Keyside Marina, Yellowtown Dock. So you can catch ferries out of there. Or Yellowtown, I should say. It's got like a charter house over across the way there. Getting a bit further now into Yale Town, headed back towards where my hotel is in the direction of there, which is inland across the peninsula. Okay, here we are 
Pacific Boulevard. Definitely a main drag, Davies Street. Look at all these high rises. Mostly condos and apartments, it appears. Not so much. Uh, business businesses at the bottom and living quarters at the top of these high-rises boy do they have a lot of high-rises which is great so you build a city compact built for walking around train there. Oh shoot. Look at over here. Yale Town Distillery. Okay. Some sort of uh, dessert restaurant. Man, it smells good down here. Cool place, huh? Oh, they got more action over here, huh? This is Hamilton Street and Helmican. Hamilton and Hamilton. Yeah, Yale Towns. Got the goods. More restaurants. I suppose this is why you guys are tuning in. Get the goods. It's Sunday night. I definitely didn't come to Yelltown last time, so I'm glad I'm here. So I like it. See, those look like working quarters up there. So those aren't living quarters, they're working. Big old Acer computers. Hapa Isakaya.
So we're back on Davies Street here. Does Homer also have some fun stuff? Oh, Cactus Club Cafe. They either have more than one of those cactus clubs, or that's the one I walked by earlier. I'm gonna go with, they have more than one. Mm-hmm. Getting a great workout today. Yeah, so that area that I walked by, kind of by Gastown, that's an area that's near Chinatown. It's a bit of a tough area, I would say. But aside from that, haven't really seen any other tough areas. Big old bridge right there, huh? And this is Granville. So this one here, very famous. This area known as Granville I was actually referred to, so this is also a thing. Very loud street. It's about nine o'clock now. Donald's Irish Pub. I think I stayed at the hotel boat here. I think I stayed at that Regal Hotel before. Thai Town Restaurant. Yep, that's the hotel I stayed at. Regal Town. Is it closed? No. Looks like it's closed now. Or maybe I stayed at the Hotel Belmont. Because I don't remember it looking like that. It looked maybe more like... This one over here.
that's it. Orpheum. I can keep on going, but anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this tra uh, travel tour of downtown Vancouver. If you guys enjoyed it, consider subscribing and watching some of these other videos to show you guys around. Also, check out VertCam if you want to see what it looks like to arrive internationally at Vancouver. Did a full arrival video on there. Also, try to put the link below and the travel guide. See you guys on the next one.